10 TV's Tina Ramos is there. He's been there since 425 with more on how this man did not get too far. Tino? Yeah, you know, police had to actually do a little bit of work to try and track this man down, but the man apparently just kind of missed his turn here, ended up launching himself. Right here's the intersection. It's McNaughton and Livingston, and it's right over there where he ended up jumping the curb and landing right into the patio of an apartment building that sits right behind it. I want to show you the video here, too, because this was around 2 o'clock when this happened here. It's actually right at McNaughton and Walnut Hill Boulevard, and police are telling us that the driver was actually heading southbound on McNaughton at the time when he failed to turn, and the driver went straight through the fence, ended up on the patio, shattering the glass, the patio door there in the process. But after that accident, that driver decided to get out of there by leaving by foot. And it was a short time later when police arrived on the scene. They did catch up with the man a couple of blocks away. They took him into custody, and it doesn't appear that the driver was injured. But we do know that there were people inside this apartment complex at the time. The good news to that one is that nobody was hurt there as well. And police believe that there's possibility alcohol may have been involved. They're still checking on that as well as we are to see if indeed that type of charge will come down against them. As far as the damage, well, the good news, it's not anything structurally wrong with the building. But again, here we go with another vehicle in a home. This is the third one we've been at in the past two weeks. So clearly this is a big issue here going on. Uh, this particular location, though, again, we're still trying to see if indeed those charges will come down. We'll bring an update coming up next half hour. In East Columbus, Tino Ramos, 10 TV News.